So today's flow is yoga for back pain, specifically in the lower back. So any stiffness, any tightness or tension, maybe from sitting for long periods of time, driving, or just being in one position, or just carrying a lot of tension in the body, as I'm sure a lot of us are right now. So it's gonna be helpful if you've got a prop, either a brick or a cushion or a pillow will do. If you don't have one, that's absolutely fine. As always, if you do have any injuries, then please, please listen to your body and don't force and don't push anything. This is nice and gentle, so there's nothing that we're gonna be holding for a long time. So think about really moving with your breath and just think about working with what's right for your body. So we're just gonna come down into a child's pose to start today. So just bringing the big toes to touch, just taking those knees as far apart as is comfortable and then just gently walking the hands forward. So we're gonna start with the arms extended. Just take the forehead down to the mat. Maybe just take it from side to side. So just taking a couple of rolls in the head and the neck and just settling here. Just taking a few moments just to connect to the breath. And just noticing at this point if there is any tightness or tension in the body. So maybe the shoulders are tight, the neck, the jaw. Just really think about releasing that tension, just feeling the body just melting into the earth. Then just bring the attention to the breath. Just as you inhale, really breathing all the way down from the crown of the head all the way down the spine to the tailbone. As you inhale, maybe noticing the ribs expand onto the thighs. And then as you exhale, just feeling it gently melt away. Just staying here just for a couple more breaths. And then gently making your way up into your tabletop position. So just coming up onto all fours. Just making sure shoulders, elbows and wrists are in one line. Spread the fingers nice and wide. Hips over knees. Tops of the feet down into the floor. And just taking the gaze down between the hands. Coming into a few rounds of cat and cow. So this is a really good way just to start to mobilise this lower back. So as we inhale, we drop the belly, lift the tailbone and the chin, coming into our cow. As we exhale, round the shoulders, draw the navel into the spine, tuck chin into chest. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin. Exhale, round. Take two more here, inhale. Really feel, feel the chest lengthening, shoulders come away from the ears. Exhale, round. Press into the hands, tuck the tailbone. One more time here, inhale, lift the chin, exhale round. Coming back to centre, just resetting here. Take the right leg out behind, just to the height of the hips, no higher. Maybe just taking a gaze back, feeling the core engage here and then taking the left hand out to join. So really reaching hand and foot away from each other. Just try and not here to overarch the lower back. So what we don't want to do is let that core collapse. So keep the core nice and engaged, reaching out here. Just finding that stability. Take one more breath here, inhale. Exhale, release. Taking it over to the other side. So left leg comes back this time. Again, maybe you just want to take a gaze behind just to check that you've not lifted it too high or when it's not down too low. And then reaching that right hand out. Again, finding that stability in the left hand, the right knee, really grounding into the top of that right foot. Keep that core engaged. 
You're really scooping the navel into the spine, protecting that lower back. Take one more breath. And then exhale, release. Taking the hands back into shoulder width apart, spread the fingers wide. We're going to make our way into downward dog. So tuck the toes, send the seat back towards the heels. We start to lift the hips, lengthening through the spine. So pedaling out the feet just to start. Really pressing into the hands, feeling the spine nice and long. So imagine one line of energy between the crown of the head and the tailbone. Making any movements here that feel good. And then just finding some stillness here, taking a breath. Inhale. Exhale. As you inhale, we're going to kind of ripple the body and drop the hips, finding our way into upward dog. And tuck the toes here. Inhale. As you exhale, tuck the toes, finding downward dog. Doing that again. So inhale, the weight comes forward, drop down onto the hips, and tuck the toes, lift the chest, upward dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward dog. So just doing that a couple more times, just flowing with your own breath. So we inhale, forwards lift. Exhale, downward dog. One more time, inhale, forwards. Exhale, downward dog. From here, just softening the knees, walking the hands back towards the feet, finding your rag doll here. So softening the knees, just letting the upper body completely hang heavy. So feeling all the tension releasing here from the lower back. Keep the knees nice and soft. And just either sway the body from side to side. Maybe shifting backwards and forwards between the heels and the toes. Just trying to find as much length as you can in that spine. So let the weight completely come out of the upper body. Maybe nodding the head yes, shaking the head no, just to release. Take one more breath here, inhale. And then exhale, release the hands. Take the hands to the shins or thighs, lift up, finding your half forward fold. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Just do that one more time. Inhale, lift. And exhale, fold. Bending the knees, walk the hands forwards, finding downward dog. From here, inhale, step the right foot forward, drop down onto the left knee, take the left hand to the inside of the right foot, take a gentle twist. So reaching that right hand up, twisting through this torso. Inhale, exhale, take one more breath here, inhale, as you exhale, frame the right foot, tuck the toes and the left foot, step back, downward dog, take a breath, inhale, exhale, step the left foot forward, drop down onto the right knee, right hand to the inside of the left foot, reach up, finding that twist, inhale, Exhale. Take one more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Framing that left foot. Step back. Downward dog. Take an inhale. As you exhale, shift forward. High plank. Drop down the knees. Chest and chin rows all the way down towards the floor. Slide the hands forwards. Shoulders over elbows. Just finding your sphinx pose here. Lifting the chest, relaxing the shoulders. The legs are nice and active. So really actively press into the tops of the feet here. Knees are lifted, legs are engaged. So the glutes are switched on here, protecting that lower back. Inhale. Exhale. Take one more breath. Inhale. Exhale, releasing here. Take the cheek down and just rocking those legs. Those hips from side to side, just releasing on. And then press 
easing back, finding your child's pose once again. So this time, either extending the hands or maybe taking them down, catching hold of the heels, and just really breathing into that spine again. And then releasing, coming up on to tabletop position, making your way down on to your backs, hugging your knees into your chest, just giving yourself a hug, rocking from side to side, just really pressing the whole of that lower back down into the mat. So imagine that you're massaging the spine. Maybe take the hands to the knees and just make some circles with the knees and the hips. Just really feeling the whole of that lower back press down onto the mat. And then from here, coming into our happy baby pose. So either take the first two fingers and the thumb and make a bind with the big toes, or take the hands to the outer edge of the foot, whichever's more comfortable. And just let the knees guide their way down towards the armpits, just rocking from side to side if that feels good. And completely releasing, completely relaxing here. If it's good just to find some stillness, then just staying here. Again, just trying to press that lower back down. So try not to curve up, try and press the whole of that back down. And then release. Just grab that block or that brick. Coming in to a spinal twist here. So we're just gonna take the knees over to the right hand side. We're gonna place that prop between the knees. I'm gonna take the gaze over the left shoulder. So just using this as a bit of a support for that lower back. Just breathing here, maybe shuffling the hips back very slightly, if that's more comfortable. Just using the prop just to soften this pose, just to take it all away. So just taking it over to the other side now. Again, if you need to shuffle those hips back, take the gaze over the right shoulder this time. And really feeling the stretch just in this right hip area, coming into the lower back here. Again, stacking that right knee on top of the left, but we're just using that cushion or that prop just as a support, just to soften everything. Take one more breath here. And then come back to center, release that brick. Just place the feet flat on the floor, lifting the hips up, just placing that block or that brick, just under the butt, just lower than the lower back, so just beneath the lower back. We're coming into a modified legs in the air pose here. If you do have a wall and you want to take the legs up the wall, then that's absolutely fine. If not, then just taking the legs up here. So by putting the, bro the block or the cushion underneath the hips, we're turning into more of an inversion pose. Either taking the hands straight down or maybe taking the arms out to the side. This is a point where we just completely relax, completely release everything. Completely unloading, completely deloading. So just knowing that you can stay here for as long as you want or as long as you need. And then when you're ready to come out of the pose, just gently lift the hips, slide the block or the cushion out and just come down. Maybe give yourself a hug again, just gently rocking from side to side. Again, just slow and gentle movements, taking whatever your body needs, whatever feels good. 
through your body and taking as long as you need here. And then when you're ready, just coming up into a seated pose, bringing the hands to heart center, just taking a couple of breaths just to thank yourself for practicing today without any ego, without any judgment and for dedicating the time for yourself. Thank you for letting me guide you through that practice. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.